All right, guys, heading up to Dick's right now. And what are you gonna look for? Uh, I don't know, a snake. Yeah, they do have lots of exotic uh, lures here. They got things like snakes. They even have spiders, man. Spiders. All right, guys, come here already. We got, we got the Gary Yamamoto. We got the Guggen base. I really, I really like the trench hog. Don't get me wrong, I like the trench hog. Yeah, he's even got the crankbaits and the jigs. And even the eat me frogs, the filthy frog. Man, they got lots. And that big buzz bait. Guys, there's really anything we can get. Uh, guys, Andrew's looking at this snake. Man, Andrew, if you catch something on that, that's gonna be a big one. <gasps> a mystery tackle box. Oh my god. Oh my god. Should I get one? Should I get one? I wanna get an MTB. <laughs> what the heck? Guys, look at this yapper rat. No, look, look at this. Beaver. Oh, it's a beaver. What the? I really want, I want the trench hog. I want the trench hog. Where is that? Alright guys, going with the Guggen Base trench hog. Let's go. We might be doing my first MTB slam. There's five to six baits in every one. Uh, I'm going to try and knock it out. Alright guys, I don't know if the box matters, but we're going to go with box 18. Yeah. Here we go. Box 18. Alright guys, that's all. All right, guys, here we go. We got the MTB and the Guggen Bait Crunch Hogs. We're going to try and knock out all these baits today or tomorrow. And what do you, do you think I'd be able to knock all these baits out? Yeah, you yeah. not be able to. Should I get the snake? I don't, I don't know, man. Let's go purchase these puppies. All right, guys, we checked out. We got the box here. We're actually staying in here um, just to open it. I'm super excited. Oh, All right, guys, so here's the box inside. All right, guys, it's my first MTB box right here. Alright, here we go. Hey, wait, let the open. camera see. Don't look, don't look, don't look. Alright, nice. Okay. Oh! A longer hunt drop frog. Okay, okay. That's not bad. A nice frog. Okay, we got some soft plastics. This isn't bad. This is a nice little rage tail. A jig. Okay, a flipping jig, a flipping jig. And, for last but not least, more? This is like a little finesse worm. All right, I, that's Wait, what's right here? Are these hooks? Oh yeah, these are hooks. And and hooks, and hooks, guys. What is this stuff? Uh... Guys, these are the hooks I needed, guys. Oh, you got a oh and an empty and an MTB decal. Okay, so this is actually really exciting. This is what actually what I was hoping for. <laughs> guys, look at this drop prop frog. Oh, it's got it's a prop frog. So it's got a prop. Yeah, does this yeah the, is no, it softer or not? The, yeah, I think. It, the legs spin like that? This is exactly what I was hoping for. Really exciting. We're in the corner. And, this we all, and we also got the Guggen baits, so. So guys, there we go. My first MTB box was a success. Let's go. All right, and then Andrew did purchase the 3D snake. This was so expensive, like $13, but he still got it. He's pulling I'll be, through. I'll be fishing with him with the MTB box. I'll be fishing with my weird topwater baits. See if he can get a, if he gets a fish on that, um, That'll be that. That's his challenge. It's he has a to, real three he'll, he'll do a he'll do a snake challenge. Green snake. Andrew's doing a snake challenge, and I'm doing oh, the MTB yeah. slam. Let's get home. Maybe start fishing a little. I don't know. All right, guys, we made it back to the house, and let's dive in. Let's really dive into this um, MTB slam. See, actually, open the packets. All right, so first of all, let's see the box. It's got a measuring scale and the re keeper requirements for tournaments. All right, guys, we opened up the Lunker Hunt Prop Frog, and as you can see, the little they have li these little feet that propel in the water, like spin around and stuff, and it attracts the bass. They got an extra hook and two normal hooks. It shows it's got a green body with some with some black little patterns on it. It's got some yellow eyes. It's got a yellow and white belly, and overall, great lure. We'll definitely catch something on this. All right, next we got this little uh, football jig. It's a lumberjack flipping jig. All right, we opened her up. Let's get her out. It's a nice old jig. There we go. Let, this one it says, throw this jig around one brush and other cover using your favorite jig trailer. And I got a jig trailer for you. The jig trailer I'm going to use, the Rage Tail. So, this, this, it has about five soft plastics in here, I think. Made by Strike King, an extra exclusive coffee scent. Uh, nice soft plastic. Let's rig this one of these rage tails on of our on our jig 
So, let's see. My other jig is rigged up with a bandito bug. And there we go, guys. Just like that. We have a jig trailer. It's, the, it's got the little feed that kick. Boom, baby. That's a great jig right there. That'll catch us some fish. Alright, next after the rage tail, we have the amazing baits. Carl's amazing baits. Actually, the I think he's one of the people in Master, Mystery Tackle Box. I think that's him right there or something. He's, here we go. Let's open these baits. Let's see what they look like. Alright, so it's kind of got like this... Uh, it's got like this thin part in the middle and then it gets thick again. Oh, I think I'll be Texas rigging this because that is kind of weird to wacky rig. But yeah, Texas rig it. Maybe this is like a little paddle tail and it like flaps. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <clears throat> but yeah, this will definitely catch a fish. All right, guys. Next thing, we have Sticky's hooks. Um, These are 3 yacht EWG uh, hook. Incredibly sharp. Incredibly re Incredibly reliable these are wide gap hooks here we go it's a three pack and these are actually exactly what my, what we need last thing in the box we have this mtb sticker i don't know what i'm gonna put this on maybe a, maybe a, t a tackle bag something like that guys i did get one more thing um at the guggenbaits trench hog these i'm gonna include these in the mystery tackle box so i'm gonna be like so i'm gonna include them in my uh in the challenge so i'll try and catch something on that here's the trench hog design they are stuffed with this like scent it's called salon they call it salon sauce guggen does and it's, there's so much of it it's so slimy and it's everywhere oh okay but yeah here's the body it's got these two little it this would make a i could actually put actually that'd be kind of long i was thinking maybe i could put it on this jig but this is good it's nice and short but yeah, this is a six inch trench hog. Um, it's like a craw body. You got these little uh, paddle thingies. Yeah, made by Guggen. Actually, uh, actually new Guggen member, Lojo, was welcome to the Guggen squad a few days ago. Uh, yeah, let's, yeah, stuffed, stuffed with salt, slanch sauce. And so yeah, definitely gonna be catching fish on these puppies. All right, so we're gonna do the challenge in a little bit, but I gotta show you guys something. I got a late present for my birthday. It's pretty cool, great for fishing. Boom. A Bass Pro Shops fishing shirt. Um, Maybe maybe I can get Bass Pro Shops to sponsor me. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But uh, Pro Qualifier, Let's see what it says, XPS Extreme Performance Series. There we go, it's a nice design. I might, I might have to wear it when I'm out there fishing. When I'm out there fishing today. Alright guys, here's what I'm going to rig up. I'm going to take the amazing baits, and I'm going to rig them up on a worm hook, and probably like a little split shot or a bullet weight, and we're going to fish these at a nearby golf course pond. Alright guys, I have got nothing on that little Carl's bait tackle worm, so I'm going to switch into the trench hog. Alright guys, trench hog's action is very good. I like it. All we need to do now is get a fish. Get our first time on the board with the MTB slam. There's a bass. Let's go. Finally. Let's get back out there. No, oh, no, it's not. You should not. There we go. Get up here. Finally, 
Oh my gosh, he took that right at the bank. Guys, this fish just saved my life. Andrew! I know. Thank you, fish. Finally, I can move on, move to, to the next bait. Holy cow, I missed like four. Finally got one. All right, guys, you know what time it is? It's frog time, baby. All right, guys. I wasn't recording, but I did have a I did have a bite on the frog. Just didn't stay on. I was pretty mad. Guys, did you see that? That's probably what I least expected. Holy cow. Alright guys, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Alright, I see a mask. But we got shade. We got a little corner here for my froggy. Frog. It's your time to shine. It's your time to go to work. Um, peep the little wheat thingy. And uh, I've had I've had one bass on the trench. I've had one bass on the trench hog, and um, that's it for me. And actually, Andrew, he got his brand new snake stuck in the drain, but he got it out with a popper. There's the snake. All right, guys. So now we're gonna go to another pond nearby, and hopefully we can catch some fish there. So let's go. All right, guys, it's been a few hours. Um, I went swimming, and uh, now I'm back, and I think I might be going again. It's about, it's, it's getting to dusk. It's sun's still out, but it's it's evening, and so, bad to go fish. Hopefully, hopefully the fish are hungry. Um, still doing the MTB slam. I, I'm going to use this trailer that I got from the slam and this jig that I got from the slam. There it is, right there. He's going to go catch us some fish. So let's tie this on, get out there. All right, guys, timer's up. Time to switch baits into this pond. I think I'm, I know what I'm going to be throwing. All right, guys, keep in mind, we are going we are going on a reservoir tomorrow morning early. So that might be a time to get in some of my fish. Here we're going to be using the Carl's worms. Um, let's get it rigged up. See the rig we got right here? We got the little split shot weight attached to a worm hook with a Texas rigged worm or Carl's bait and tackle worm so for something big oh shoot that is so light light compared to the jig oh I need to get something Yes, 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 finally, holy crap, holy, stay down, stay down, stay down, oh my gosh, yes. Why are all my bass coming off? Oh, yes, here we go, here we go, bang, got him, got him, yes, 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 next cast, that was literally the next cast, that was literally the next cast, okay, okay, okay. Stay on the ground, stay on the ground. Let's go! Let's go! Finally! You are like the first bass of many. Oh my gosh. Yes, I love you, bass. I stinking love you. 
I love you. I love you so much. I love this bass. I love this bass. I love this bass. I love it. Give, give the camera a kiss. Give the camera a kiss. Give the camera a kiss. Yeah. I love you, bass. Thank you. Yes. We can cross this worm off my, the list. There we go. Proper release. There he goes. Yes. Finally. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Yes. Ah. Guys, I think you know what time it is. I don't really want to throw this right now. The prop frog. All right, guys, it's time for the prop frog to work its magic. Oh, I had a hit, I had a hit, I had a hit. He missed it though. Boom, there's a fish. Let's go, let's go. Here, here, here. Please, please, please stay on. Oh, I need you. Oh my gosh. Yes, that was crazy. Let's go. Just reel her up. Reel. Oh yes, it's a tiny one too. Yes. Oh, it still counts though. It's a fish. Oh, let's go. Let's go. He's small, but I can make him look big. Ah, what a tank. Oh my gosh. He's small, but he counts. I love you. Now all I need is the jig and the rage tail. You know what guys, I'm just gonna stop the video right here. I've already caught, I've caught my three bass of the day. Uh, so all I have left, I caught, I caught one on the, I caught one on the trench hog, one on the little worm thingy, the Carlos bait and tackle worm. So at least two left. The the hooks don't really. I mean, there were six things, but one thing was the hook. You know, you can't really catch. Catch one just a plain hook. Come on now. Yeah, I guess you can. All right. So last but not least, we got the rage tail and the jig. I don't know if the rage. I think the rage tail might just be like a trailer. I'll still try and catch a bass just by itself. Okay. So. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And always go watch some more John Austin videos. Part 2 will be up later. Probably this week. Sometimes. I don't know. See ya.